Hey, what's up, y'all? I like to start my movies with y'all. Um, y'all know how I do. Uh, this is three completely, you know, unrelated topics, but that's what my channel's about. Just putting them out there and you synthesizing them for yourself. One of my favorite Nietzsche passages is where he says, um, just because I give you my ideas in a fragmentary fashion doesn't mean they themselves are fragmentary. Uh, so with that in mind, I'll just bring up an idea from Graham Hancock's book, um, Fingerprints of the Gods. Maya uh, mathematics completely um, involves the idea of precession. Okay, like one ton is 360 days. You know, 360 is a very important uh, number involving precession. 72 is the exact amount of years it takes to move one degree within the 360 um, zodiac. Um, 2160 is the number, you know, one exact era, one age. Um, so yeah, and 432 is just fractals of that. So I mean, I'll put all the Mayan numbers down there because I don't want to just talk, you know. But yeah, I mean, this implies that not only do the Maya know the universal mathematics and um, the precession of the equinoxes, but that 2012 has to do with precession. Okay, and uh, if McKenna is right, it means lunar cycles of precession have to do with 2012. So what does the moon have to do with our bodies evolving? And do other aliens also have to have a moon as well? Um, by the way, watching Ancient Aliens, there's a hollow moon apparently. Like there's this one tunnel that just goes infinitely into the moon. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Why we haven't been going down there. It's kind of crazy. You know, in the age of Aquarius, you know, I think... You know, the age of Pisces was just about mysticism, airy, kind of watery, you know, um, wishy-washy stuff, honestly. And I think Aquarius is going to be a real more practical form of, yes, there's scientific evidence that metaphysical things happen, not just metaphysical faith that metaphysical things happen. Um, Aquarius is going to be more worship of man instead of like an elusive god-like watery image, you know, illusionary image like Neptune represents. Um... Aquarius represents Uranus and Saturn together, revolution and discipline simultaneously. So we have to start worshiping ourselves. That's what Nietzsche's Ubu Mensch is all about. I find it interesting that Nietzsche wore a white hat um, while just traversing, you know, the plains of Europe. He had moon in Sagittarius, so he was an extreme traveler. Um, uh, but yeah, Quetzalcoatl, I bring up Nietzsche's white hat because Quetzalcoatl was known to wear a white robe. You know, Nietzsche's bushy beard, Quetzalcoatl had a fucking bushy, Nietzsche's walrus mustache, I mean, completely known for that. Um, anyway, last idea is I, I think that if I am correct, which I think I am, and Nietzsche is the synthesis of Mayan and uh, biblical Western philosophy, like the New Testament is potentially the story of Quetzalcoatl. Once again, in Fingerprints of the Gods, Graham Hancock unifies this. And if I'm correct, and Nietzsche is this Jesus Quetzalcoatl return, um, I think it's really sad that the Spanish killed those hundreds of thousands of uh, native Mayan and Aztec people, you know, when they were worshipping the same person. Think about it. If, if any of this stuff I imply is correct, then Quetzalcoatl was Jesus, and all those Christian people who thought the serpent was Satan was actually their original god. The implications to this are tremendous, so uh, think about that one. And by the way, the new Tupac didn't come out, and I'm pissed. Where is it?